Hello friends, and welcome to today's episode. Car crashes can put your whole life in danger in a split second. The force in contact can cause some of the most dangerous injuries a person can get. The story of Liz Sodden is one example. The family went off the road and hit a hillside while she was with her then-boyfriend Brad. She couldn't move from the neck down after the accident. Brad was driving, so he kept feeling bad about it. So he chose to do something about it, and what he did was amazing. Things were going well. Brad Sodden and Liz, who was going to be his wife, didn't have to deal with any big problems or problems. It looked like they were going to have a great life together. They loved each other a lot and were sure they could handle anything together. Both of them were sure that the other was their match. They loved being together and dealing with whatever good or bad things life threw at them. We all know that things rarely go as planned in life. We can never be sure what will happen tomorrow. So, we should always make the most of every day we have and be thankful for it. Liz and Brad were about to learn that time is important and that they can't control everything. Three months before their wedding, they were given a hard job that would put their relationship to the test. Nothing about this trip in the car was any different from other times when the whole family went somewhere. Brad was driving his truck, and Liz was sitting next to him in the front seat. The children were also in the back of the truck. No one thought anything would happen on the way to where they were going. But then, out of the blue, the front tire went flat. No one was ready for this to happen, so it caught everyone off guard and didn't give anyone time to prepare. Before Brad or Liz could even figure out what had happened, the car crashed hard into a hillside next to the road. Brad and the kids only got small scrapes and bruises. On the other hand, Liz wasn't as lucky. The whole family went to the hospital right away. When they got to the hospital, Liz was told that she was now crippled and would never be able to walk again. The family was hit so hard by this because it all happened so quickly. Liz didn't want to worry her family, so she tried hard to hold in her feelings, but Brad could tell she wasn't doing well at all. Since he was driving the truck, he felt a lot of guilt when he saw that the accident had paralyzed his loved fiancé. Because of the accident that happened while everyone was on the truck, Liz was now unable to work. Since he could tell she wasn't feeling well, Brad used this as a reason to do something for her that most people would think was impossible. There was a good reason why Brad understood his fiancé so much. He had been in battle, so he knew what it was like to lose hope and feel like a whole person. Brad was no stranger to sadness and loss because he had been through them before. Having said that, he couldn't stand or stand to see Liz in pain. All of this was too much for him, so he decided to take action. We've already said that Brad and Liz were soulmates, which means that they were each other's rock. They laugh and cry together, which means that when she is happy, he is too, and when she is sad, he is too. He later said in an interview, you get me going when you make her cry. I'll make it happen. That was all the drive he needed. Another reason why it would have been a hard blow to Liz was that it was a hard hit. She liked to walk and camp a lot. Liz tried to stay busy and spend time outside, so she would miss out on some of the most important things in her life that she loved. Since she can't really use her legs anymore, she would have to give up the life she used to love. When the news was told to the family by the people at the hospital, they didn't take it very well. Brad could still remember what Liz had said to him when they found out she was paralyzed, go on without me. For Brad, this was impossible. He had no plans to leave his wife and live by himself. He cared so much about her and was willing to do anything to help her. Brad knew he had to do something because he couldn't stand to see his sweet fiancé's spirit being crushed. He wanted to make an answer to Liz's problem in his own shed. But there was a catch, Brad had never studied engineering in school, so he would not have to start from scratch if he wanted to make this happen. Brad didn't even have a college degree, and the experts he talked to told him there was no realistic technology that would let Liz hike and camp again. Any other person would have given up right away, but for a man who lived with his sad wife, these words were just bumps in the road. Brad was determined to do something special for his girlfriend. Even though the odds were against him, he was still motivated to give Liz a better life than she thought she would have. Later, in an interview, Brad said that it took him two years and a bunch of beer to build the first version of what he called the tank chair. Brad was not going to give up on making something to make his wife's life easier now that she was paralyzed. So, he made a new kind of wheelchair in the end. This is a bike that really does work on all kinds of surfaces. 
Even though Brad had given his creation a name, it was not a very serious one. Surely, they could have come up with a better name, right? Brad was very excited to work on this great idea. He wanted to help his wife in any way he could, so he built a new wheelchair from scratch even though he had never done it before. Since this was a truly amazing thing to do, it made the media and the general public want to learn more about the wheelchair. Brad was happy to tell me how this wheelchair works. In an interview, Brad was happy to talk about how this amazing wheelchair works. You've got kids who are playing football on a dirty field? Don't do it. You and your friends want to go fishing? Get some fish. If there's snow, he said with excitement. So now you have a general idea of how this works. It would give people like his disabled wife a chance and make the outdoors more accessible than ever before. So the only thing left to do was try it out on the one person who gave birth to this idea. Liz's life changed when Brad put her in one of these tank chairs. I was able to go hiking and camping because of it, she told the people who were questioning her. It was clear that she was very happy with the new thing her husband had made just for her. When the wheelchair wasn't ready, she felt left out when the family went out. I would sit in the car when we went to the snow. She told the reporters, now I can get out and chase my kids around, and I can go with them. So much more to say about this device that her husband had made from scratch that would change their lives. Liz was so happy about what her husband had made. She couldn't stop admiring him because she knew how hard he was working to make everything work out. She had a few other good things to say about the wheelchair, like, just hiking and getting out, I'm not a prisoner anymore in the car and the house. She felt like so much of her old life was given back to her. Want to know the best thing about it all? Liz and Brad were happy with how things went, so they knew this could lead to something more. Brad got a great idea from the way she liked and used his device. Then they thought of making the tank share available to other wheelchair-bound people who also like to spend time outside. Since the wheelchair helped his disabled wife a lot, it was clear that other people in the same situation would do the same. Brad soon opened a store to sell tank chairs. He did this because he thought of all the war soldiers who had been hurt in battle. As you might have guessed, this was a great success, and the people who needed it were more than happy. One thing you should know is that these wheelchairs are not cheap, just like all good services and gadgets. The type of tank chair that costs the least is one that goes for $15,000. The range of prices goes up, and the most expensive one could cost as much as $53,000. Brad joked that this expensive wheelchair can almost do your dishes. For that price, it must be quite a wheelchair. When the tank chairs went on sale, they were a big hit, which was to be expected. So many amputees and people with disabilities were able to use them to make their lives easier. All of the money that Brad and his team of workers made went toward making these tank chairs better and better. I'm not rich, but I have a lot of fun, he said in an interview. The original idea behind making this wheelchair was to give his wife a better chance in life. Brad still lives by this rule, and the only thing that keeps him going is the happiness he gets from helping other people. Money is not what motivates me. He said, this is all about the smiles on people's faces and the families I've helped. People who have tried tank chairs also have a lot to say. The plan was to help his wife have a better chance of getting back to the exciting life she had before. Brad had worked hard and spent a lot of time on the tank share. His wife was happy with what he had done, but neither of them knew that it wasn't just for them. Brad and his team at tank share have helped a lot of people, not just his wife. So many people have come forward to say that Brad's idea has made their lives better. One of the few people Brad's creativity has helped is Betty Jean Hammond from Wickenburg, Arizona. She is one of the people who has been able to live a somewhat normal life again since she bought herself a tank share. This was another woman who, like Liz, loves to be active and spend time outside. Betty Jean was a person who liked to be outside and do things she liked to do. But soon, she had a big problem. She was a woman who really liked horses and rode them all the time. She lost her ability to walk quickly, which was very sad for her. This wasn't the end. She also had to deal with some other problems. In fact, her husband had died and all of her children had moved out of the house. Betty Jean was now by herself, and just like Liz, she couldn't do any of the things she liked. After all of these things happened to her, she had to live a very sad life. Betty Jean's life was very stressed because she could walk and could see out the window. She was the owner of a farm, 
but it wouldn't take care of itself. She felt like a waste of time because she had so much to do but couldn't because of her illness. She had so much work to do, and she had to take care of it. She needed a good way to handle this, so what could she do? Who helped her out in the end? Well, the Tankshare seemed to be the answer to the problem that was making her life hard. She called Tankshare, and they gave her a used chair that gave her all the skill she could ever need to control her horses. She had been looking for something like this for a long time. She had trouble taking care of her farm animals. Another person has found this amazing creation to be very useful. Chris Sullivan, a war veteran, has found that the tank chair is a very useful tool that helps him get through his daily life. Chris had served in the service from 2005 to 2006, all the way in Iraq. He was unlucky because when he got home, he couldn't move below the waist. He had spent so much time in Iraq that his son had only ever seen him in a wheelchair. He liked serving his country, but it cost him a lot, a huge amount of money. Chris couldn't run across the yard with his son or play any physical games with him. He was sad because he had missed out on so many things he could have done with his father. So, when Chris thought he would never be able to do this with his son, there was a simple way for him to make it happen. When he chose to buy himself a tank chair, everything changed. Chris could finally play with his little buckaroo the way he had always wanted to. When he was put in one of the tank chairs, his dreams came true. Then things got better for him. Chris was seen with his son in one of the videos that were posted. They ran through the mud and grass together, and Chris used his new chair to catch up to his son right behind him. He was even faster than a man who could run on two legs. Even his son could now tell everyone that even though his dad is paralyzed below the waist, he can play with him until he is tired. It was very comforting to hear all the stories about how the tank chair for Brad and his gang helped people. It showed that they were also helping other people in need in a good way. It's the little things like that that make this whole job worth it, Brad said after telling Chris's story. One way or another, all of their hard work and effort paid off. It took a lot of hard work and long nights to make what became known as the tank chair. Brad didn't have the skills to do this, but he did it anyway. Everyone thought it was impossible. He was so happy with the work he had done that he said, when I see happiness, I can't really explain it. It's just really cool, and he could hardly hold back his tears. Anyone can complain and cry about things. Critics are so easy to find that you can't swing a dead cow without hitting one, Brad had told the interviewers when talking about how good things take time and work. The people who work at Tankshare think they should be proud of finding answers to problems that hurt people. When they hear these stories, they feel a rush of excitement. Even though the work is hard and they have to put in a lot of hours, they feel that it was all worth it in the end. Stories about Liz, Betty Jean, and Chris are clear proof that people are thankful every day for people like Brad who make stories. The team is happy in the end because they have all been given a second chance to be happy and live life to the best. You can even watch movies of people using the tank chairs. It's fun to watch them fly through mud puddles and skim through water and snow. We can promise that your face will light up when you see how Brad's great work has changed the lives of so many people, especially his wife Liz. He has helped a lot of crippled Americans, so he can be seen as a hero in a way. People say that all you need to do something great and important is an idea. We should remember that one man made the tank chair because he wanted his wife to smile and be happy again. This makes it more special for sure. Brad would not have been able to do any of this if he hadn't spent so much time on this wheelchair that can be used for different things. It's all because of real love and a great plan. That's it for today friends. Please let us know what you think about this story. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon for more amazing stories.